is an update on my little weight loss journey. I haven't done any workout videos lately because I've been sick. We've been sick. We've been kind of going through it over here. The baby was sick. Then I got sick. Then he got sick again. And then now, I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's like allergies, but my head has just been like... But update is I haven't gained any weight. I actually dropped two pounds. So, what do you do? It's two. I'm going to take that weight. Okay. But, yeah. Um, I've been like, we're kind of going back and forth, and you know, I've had a lot going on lately too, so I haven't been able to drop any videos. I think the last one I put out was my daughter's hair tutorial one. I, um, I know you guys probably hear all of my voice, but I, uh, started interlock, I started interlock, I started locking her hair, so I braided her up, and I, She's probably been braided up for about two weeks now. She's like super hyped, super excited about it. So I'm like, I'm happy. You happy. We happy. Because I don't have to do your hair. So we've been doing that. So she's really excited. So, But as far as like me and my eating and stuff, I have been working on it. My camera's about to fall. I've been really working on that. Like I'm still struggling with my eating. I'll be lying if I said I had a down pat because I don't. I'm still struggling with my eating, but in my working out, like I'm trying to stay consistent. One thing I realize about myself is consistency is a struggle for me. I can like, I'll start off so tough, so tough, and then somewhere along the lines, it'll kind of dwindle down, and I just gotta kick it back into gear. Like I said, it's, I haven't dropped the video. I haven't dropped the video, because I've been lagging. So that's me. I need to pull it together. I guess since we hear it about the muscles, we'll start getting ready for today. But yeah. I was like, this is going to be a sidebar because, you know, it's early in the morning and y'all yeah, know I have my sidebar. I was sitting up watching um, this, the hip hop, uh, history of hip hop or something like that on YouTube yesterday. And like, I love, 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 love that show. It was just like the dopest thing ever. One thing I can say is I love David Dash. Like he's so dope. Like he's so dope. And like he don't play. He's so serious. He's like I'm about to get my money, and it is what it is. Like any means. And I love that because he's so smart. And it's like I'm about to put my contacts on. I love people like that. That just that they have a drive, you know. That's like who I strive to be. Like, I love that. Like, when you have a drive, you have focus. I have my eyelashes on the other day, and I still have this glue stuck up here. Like, you gotta just learn how to focus. And to me, like, I lack that. Sometimes I'm super, super focused, super, 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 super focused. And then at times, I'm like, my focus is way left field. And I know that's when I gotta kind of ring myself back in. Cause I think my baby thing I'm talking here. What? What happened? Okay, I'm gonna have to reset it, babe. Yeah, you can. Just give me a minute. But, um, yeah, like, I love his focus. I love his drive. It's like, it's amazing what the human mind can do when you actually, like, apply it. When you are focused, when you have a mission. It's amazing what you can do. Because there's been times where I'm like, look, like, I'm this is what I'm doing and I'm not going to stop until I get it. And, like, the mountains that you move to do with things that you're, like, determined to do is crazy. It's crazy. It's like, if you really focus yourself, sky's the limit, you feel me? To me, like, I love that. I love seeing that. I love seeing, like, people that's like, look. Like, you know what happened to your what? Nintendo. No. But, yeah, to me, like, I love stuff like that. Because it's like, the things that you see people do, when they're all in, it's, it's amazing. Like, that drive is crazy. And to me, it's like, I, I know people that are like that that are super focused, super driven, and, and that motivates me to, like, try to pull myself together, because, like, I have goals, but 
having goals and actually striving to reach goals are two different things. You can put a goal down all day, every day, but if you don't build the momentum and work towards it, work towards it, work towards it, take, stay consistent, it's never gonna happen. And I know that you're just gonna be, you're just delaying, you're, you're just delaying it. You're just pushing off, pushing off, pushing off, and eventually you're probably not gonna do it at all. So just to see see people like that, like um, like I said, they was doing they was doing documentary, like they was talking about Nas, Jay Z. Um, Damon Dash was interviewed, like, I was talking about, um, Wu-Tang Clan, like, all these, all these men that made it in the music industry, and most Def, oh my god, I used to love me some most Def, like, him in common, like, I don't even know what it is about, oh, shit, I dropped it in the water, I was like, man, Ooh, we have a technical difficulty. I almost dropped y'all in the water. I would have been hot. Okay. So yeah, I was talking about let me make sure I don't most deaf. Like I just love it because they they talk about how deeper it was for them. It wasn't just about making music. It wasn't just about making money. He was like making money. It was important, but it wasn't number. One. I think money is always important, but if you don't have like a love for what you do, if there is not a bigger goal at hand, then like you're never going to be fulfilled in that. And to me, that's pretty much what he said. He was like, money is important, but like my art, my craft, that was the most important thing. And they made some dope music. Like that must have sending me down memory lane. It was sitting me down memory lane. But I just love that. I love I love looking at people that are focused, people that have a goal, and people that just strive to reach their goals. So that's cool. that's you know, that's essentially what life is. It always has to be a bigger picture. Always. Like I see people and they I'm still young. I mean, you know. So I see people that it's like 10 years, you know, went by and you're still doing the same thing, like, you don't, you don't have no level up about you, like, where you want to be, you know, like, I think about that question all the time, like, what do, what do I want out of life? What? Can we go get more Nerf guns so we can have a Nerf today? Yeah. Yay! Today? Huh? Yeah. This new update so it's like your hair. You look funny with that. I look funny. It's my it's my apricot scrub. My face. We can go get my more nerf gloves today. I got it. You got gloves. You're doing a vlog. Yeah. We Welcome back to mommy's vlog. This is why I need a strive because I need a house with multiple bathrooms. Hi, we all be up to this much, Sherry. Come on, Jerry. If you gotta go, come, come, come. Do you gotta go? Yeah. Then come. Look at mommy. I have two of these seniors, the same. Seniors. Huh? Is baby still up or is he sleep? He's sleep. Okay. He not going. Who are you? No. Okay. I'm about to pause for a minute. What are you doing, mom? Making a vlog. What kind of vlog? Just an early morning me talking into the camera vlog. We should do a um, morning routine on our vlog. Stay guys, tuned for that. You guys can. On our vlog. Go get the um, blue camera. Go get the blue camera. Go get the morning routine. Did I walk when it's down and got the downstairs in the sink? Yeah. This water is hot. Stay water. tuned. Go on our vlog and watch the morning routine. I'm probably going to do a night routine. He's plugging. He's plugging. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying. Goals, man. Goals are important to have. Goals are always important to work for. It's, it's, never, it's always okay to work on you. Like, you always want to be, you constantly want to work on yourself because, like, we're all growing, we're all changing. Like, that should be a constant factor in our, in our lives is to work on us, to grow, set goals, and accomplish goals. 
Like my goals are big. <laughs> They're big. I want to do big things. Like I, I'm okay with where I'm at in life right now, but I feel like I can't grow here. Like I can't grow where I'm at. So it's like, okay, you gotta set yourself up to move to where you don't. I'm the type of person like, I gotta make myself grow. Like if I get comfortable, I get hella comfortable, and then I won't move. And I, I don't like that. It's like you gotta, you gotta. I kind of gotta force myself into growth. Which is a good thing because, like, when I get down to it, like, it makes stuff happen, you know? But, um, I just love hearing from people like that. I love watching documentaries. I love um, watching kind of things like that where, where it's people in there talking about them reaching their goals and, and doing things out in life, you know? Life is so vast. I mean, to me, my thing is like, there's so much more to life than California. There's so much more to life than where we are right now. And I think it was like, that the man, he was, that's what he said. He was like, you know, you kind of think that you see people hitting and getting big or whatever, but you always think like, oh, there's gotta be something about this person or whatever. You know, they're born with it. You know, but then when you talk to your people hitting big and, and they folks that you know, they folks that's around you and you realize it just it's all about drive. These so that's what stuff started changing for him. See but I've always had parents that would tell me like you can do whatever you wanna do, you don't settle. You have a drive, you run, you push, you force, you do what you got to do to get the job done. My parents always like that. But as I got older, I kind of ran into people that were like content with it, with life. And, and they don't really force, they don't really have a, have a push. And unfortunately, you are the company that you keep. Like who you have around you says it all about you, you know. And I just heard a quote about that too. And it was like, I forget his name, but he was like, tell, show me the people that you're around and I'll tell you the kind of person you are. And to me, it's like, shit, dang, like that makes so much sense. Cause it's like, I, mom always say birds of a feather flock together and that's real. Like, and I know that cause when I, when I'm around certain people, I start to be a certain way. I start to feel a certain way cause people, we rub off on each other. But me, like, I, I can catch myself. I can catch myself, like, okay, you back, you backpedaling now. Why are you backpedaling? <laughs> and you kind of got to reshift your focus, you know? Which is, that's what this is about. So you just got to reshift your focus. Don't forget your dreams. Don't forget your goals. Just go after it. And don't let people kind of knock you off of that. Because a lot of people aren't even happy with their own life. They're just settling in their own life. So it's like, you know, you're settling in your own life. I don't want to have to settle in mine. Like, I want to actually live my life. I want to actually, I want to travel. I want to, I want to get out of here. I want my passport. I want to teach my kids so much. I want to be able to go on vacation with my kids and take them to Paris, take them to Italy, take them to Rome, take them to Africa, take them everywhere. Like, I don't want to limit them to Cali. Like, there's so much more out there than this. But in order to do that, you got to force. Like, nothing. I'm, I'm My parents aren't rich. Like, I don't have money. Like, if I want this stuff, I got to go out there and get it. And make it happen. It was like watching people like that. They, they shift your mind. It expands your mind. Because you know there are there is so much more out there. But you gotta work to get it. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> I think that's all I'm about to let this dry. See, I've been wearing glasses since I was like five, so y'all can see my little dents in my face. That's where the makeup come into play. What's up? It's I know it is. I'm about to I'm ending my vlog right now. And I'm about to edit and throw it up here. But yeah, I said all that just to kind of come back around to where I was saying with my journey. I came down to, I'm still working because I'm about to hit that 239 mark. I don't care what I got to do. I'm going to get there. But um, yeah, you guys just keep rocking with me. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna put up some more work. I'm going soon, like probably later on today. I'll probably be putting up work. So I'm gonna get my butt up. And, and guess work what? Out today. Our, our, we're gonna go get our cousins today. So go back on our vlog because we're gonna be having a Nerf war. We're yeah. gonna go get a lot of Nerf guns and have a Nerf war with that our too. cousins. And I've been running like man. Like we're we gonna go to San Diego and go pick them up. Did his party? No, they're not in San Diego. Wait, what? We did his party and we was oof, I was doing his party, but I take him somewhere. <laughs> We was running. I was working out, y'all. But I didn't post none of that, so. What? Want to use our memory card right for real quick? I'm using our memory card right now. But, alright, no, guys. Stay what? tuned. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, and I will be stay posting. Tuned. I haven't been that consistent. I'm still working on being consistent. So, I will, like I said, this week, I'm going to get back on it. I'm going to get back on it. I'm trying to be real honest with myself and let myself know that I did fall off, but I'm, I'm coming back. But still, two pounds. I'm, I'm going to take that win, though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, we're going to take that win over here. We striving, we moving, we growing, right? Uh -huh. That's what it's all about. So, we're going to put up a Nerf War. We're going to have a Nerf War today on their vlog, which is it's in my other channel. And if you guys see it, it's called... What's your vlog name? Uh, me plus three. Me plus three. The me's are mommy. The three is me, Mama, and Todd. I don't know if they can see you. So yeah, it's Todd. The me plus three vlog. So check that one out too. Oh. Comment. It's the family vlog. Like, like. I see y'all watching. Y'all ain't liking. I'm gonna need y'all to start liking and subscribing to our channel. Me We're plus gonna have three. A, like uh, family share, yeah. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And then, uh, yeah, stay tuned and join the family, right? Mm -hmm. Join the family. Here it is. Me and my crew. But I will be posting up another workout vlog today. So stay tuned, guys. Don't worry. Bye. If she doesn't, then I'll remind you.